Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint John the Brito. It is stated that when John as a child fell grievously ill, his mother, whose family was connected with the court of Lisbon, invoked the aid of the great Jesuit saint Francis Xavier and dedicated her son to him. In answer to her prayers, he recovered and his mother vested him for a year in the garb worn in those days by the Jesuit fathers. From then on, John's heart burned to follow the example of the apostle of the Indies, aspiring only to wear the habit of the great missionary and to devote his life to the conversion of the infidel. He was admitted into the society of Jesus at the age of 15. His success in studies was so remarkable that great efforts were made after his ordination to keep him in Portugal but grace triumphed and in 1673 he set sail for Goa with 16 of his fellow Jesuits the rest of his life was spent amid incredible hardships and hindrances of all kinds in evangelizing in South India when his mother became aware of his proposed trip to the Indies she used all influence possible to prevent him from leaving his own country even persuading the papal nuncio to intervene but this was the reply of the future martyr god has called me from the world to religious life now he calls me from portugal to india as superior of the madura mission he endured much pain as he traveled on foot throughout that vast region only 10 degrees north of the equator Those who worked with him in their letters to Europe speak in glowing terms of his courage and devotion of the extraordinary austerity of his life and the rich harvest of conversions which were the fruit of his labors for 14 years he toiled preaching converting baptizing multitudes at the cost of much privation hardship and persecution at last after being seized tortured and nearly massacred by the heathens he was banished from the country forced to return to portugal in 1683 john once more broke through every obstacle and returned to his labor of love in 1691 like saint john the baptist he died a victim of the anger of a guilty woman whom a convert king had put aside and like the precursor he was beheaded after a torturous imprisonment he was canonized by pope pius xii in 1947